just got access to a brand new feature inside of HubSpot that I think is gonna revolutionize the way that sales teams manage their leads inside of the CRM. I can't wait to show it to you. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. This new leads tool from HubSpot gives your team a far more efficient and clear way to manage leads, especially those leads that are in the run up to opening a deal. So all of those activities you're doing before they reach a stage to create the deal, HubSpot just added a ton more clarity to it and ease of managing those people. It's still in beta, so I think there's a lot more to come with this tool, but I'm really excited to show you what's already available. So let's dive in. So here we are inside of our leads tool. Like I said, it's in beta, so some things may change, but how you get to it today is if you go to your sales dropdown, prospecting, and you, this leads tab. So what we see here is we see this overview and we've got a few different stages here. So we've got new leads, attempting leads, connected leads, shows us the count of how many leads are in each of these, stage, each of these stages. And if we scroll down here, we can see the leads. So right now we've got three leads in our system. And leads are sort of an enhancement to contacts or companies. It's very similar to HubSpot's target accounts tool, if you're familiar with that, where you can just mark a company as a target account. It's sort of similar to how that works. So you can take a contact or a company and mark it as a lead, which adds it to this view here. So let's look real quick at creating a lead. We can click this add lead button in the top right. We can select contact or company. We can search and let's say we want to add a lead for, uh, we'll just pick Alex Campbell here. So we'll add a lead for Alex and you can see it comes up here. So we see Alex and we see his company. If we wanted to add a label, Let's say this is a hot lead, we could do that right there. It's gonna give you some great information at a glance of how this lead is progressing. So we've got stages, we'll talk about how to edit these stages here in a second, but we can click this drop down and we can select what stage Alex is in. So as we move through this, we can advance him in a stage. If you're familiar with lead status inside of HubSpot today, this stage is essentially taking place of that lead status. Lead status isn't going away, you can still use it if that's ingrained in your system, but if you're looking for a little bit more clarity and a little bit more um, process driven visualization into how these leads are progressing, stage in this new leads tool is gonna be the better tool for you. And it's going to add some automations that to be honest, we build workflows all the time to update lead status based on things that are happening. And now HubSpot's just gonna do it for you. So I'm super excited. So we've got this stage here. You can also see the last activity that person has uh, that you've taken with that lead. So in this case, Alex had a task 15 days ago and you can see the next activity. And this is where we get into that efficiency because if there is no next activity, we can schedule that right here. So we can add a task, we can set when we want this task to be due and what type of task we have. So very similar to those follow-up tasks that you might be familiar with when you, see, when you send a CRM or log a call in the CRM. So that's how to add a lead, that's the visualization, uh, the information that you're gonna get on that screen. And there's a couple other things that I really like. So if we wanna learn more about Alex or even take action on this lead, we can click into his lead profile. And we don't have to wait for another screen to load. It's gonna come up on the right-hand sidebar and it's gonna pull all of the information from the contact. So we've got uh, Alex here, we've got last contact and last engagement date. In this case, there are none. You can see we've got those same actions that we have on the contact record. We can take those actions right from this view. And I'll show you some really cool things about that here in a second. We see we've got our stages. He's in this new stage and we can see this visualization as he progresses. We can see any recent communications we've had with Alex, notes. We've got access to playbooks, so if we wanna make calls from here, we can jump into our playbook and fill in that information. And we've got uh, properties about that contact as well as associated objects. So pretty much all the information you can see on the contact record, um, you've got boiled down into a nice summary here. So very similar to uh, what you can see with the new deals tool as well. When you click on a deal, that information you can see on the right hand side. So I mentioned that HubSpot's gonna automate some of the automation, make it even easier to advance these people through. And one of the first ways it does that is watch what happens when I log a call here. So if I go in here and log a call, 
I say great chat with Alex and log this activity. So note that he is at the new stage right now. I'm gonna hit log activity. Look at that. Just by logging in activity, it's upgraded that stage. Now, of course, I can manually override that and upgrade it farther if I want to, but it's already knowing that because I'm logging in activity, I am attempting to reach out to Alex. If I had connected with him, I could just change this to connected and we're advancing even farther with that visualization. Another place that automation comes in is let's say I have um, talked to Alex and call didn't go super well, he's just not really a fit for our solution. I can upgrade him to disqualified and it's going to come up with some great things. So disqualified reason, why was he disqualified? I've seen lots of companies and we used to recommend you have all these disqualified reasons in your lead status. Now we don't have to muddy those waters. It's just right here in a disqualified disqualification reason. We can do reporting on that. We also were prompted to create a task to follow up with them because we know oftentimes when disqualified leads, it's a timing thing, it's a budget thing, it's not something that's insurmountable that we can't overcome in the future. So it's gonna prompt us to follow up with them and we can add any notes that we want to and mark him as disqualified. So if we exit out of here, we can also see almost like a task queue view of our leads. So if I want to work through all the leads that just got handed off to me, uh, all my new leads, I can just go to this overview, new leads, and hit follow up with leads. And it's gonna give me the list of people and it's already gonna open this right-hand sidebar. I could call, email, whatever I wanted to do and go to the next lead on the list. So great way for your sales team to work those leads actually focus on doing sales activity rather than clicking around the CRM. So a couple other places that we get some great automation, some great settings, and this is where I think we're gonna see the leads tool even expand, especially as it comes out of beta and, and becomes uh, more widely used. But if we go to actions here, we can open settings. And we've got a few settings in this leads, uh, this new leads tool. So the first thing, and this is, I really like this from a ease of creating leads upon import or ease of a sale, a marketing to sales handoff, we can automatically create a lead based on lifecycle stage. So lifecycle stage is still important in HubSpot, not going away. Um, we can just say every time somebody reaches a sales qualified lead status, we wanna create a lead for them. And you can turn that off too if you don't like the automation, but I think it's gonna be really powerful for teams. We can also do the opposite. So let's say a salesperson maybe forgot to update the lifecycle stage, uh, but they create a lead, we can tell HubSpot to automatically update that contact to sales qualified lead, um, and then we can require or not uh, for that disqualified reason I showed you earlier. And we can also edit those stages. So there's a few um, kind of high level stages that HubSpot sort of mandates to manage that uh, visualization and all that. So we've got new, in progress, qualified and unqualified. And then we can have sub stages in there, similar to like a deal pipeline. So new, attempting, uh, connected, qualified, disqualified. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with how, what HubSpot has out of the box. Um, there may be a, a reason to add stages or remove stages depending on your process. But for most people, I think these stages will work super, super well. So again, it's under sales, prospecting, and that leads tab. I'm really, really excited for this to roll out widely uh, and for us to start working on it with clients because like I said, I think this is just gonna revolutionize how easy it is for a salesperson to really focus on doing those activities that earns revenue, closes deals, and just feels natural when they're updating the CRM in that progress. So that's all we've got for you today with the new leads tool. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more HubSpot tips, tricks, and how-tos, and jump to the video description to just subscribe to our newsletter. See you next time.